Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Up next at the Kennedy Center's Broadway Center stage series is Maury Estin and Arthur Kopit's iconic Tony Award winning musical Nine, which features a stellar cast led by Stephen Pasquale. It'll run from August 2nd through the 11th, and we drop by the rehearsal room to meet the company and bring you a sneak peek. I knew the show as a big fan, musical theater fan, and, and the score is just transportive. And in my career, I'm a pretty rhythmic person, and so the lushness of the score was something different for me. And so I sort of loved it from afar, loved the original and loved the revival. Um, and then when I found out that Kennedy Center was doing the show, I pursued them. I was like, can I take a stab at this? And the thing about it is, that even though that score is lush and so beautiful and legato, it has so much interesting stuff happening underneath of it. And the original orchestrations are just so stunning that for me, I started seeing moving pictures immediately. And that's why I knew I really wanted to be involved because I knew that it could come to life maybe in a slightly different way than people anticipated. I'm really excited. I didn't know Nine until they asked me to do it. I don't know if I mentioned that to you before. So I sort of did a deep dive on it like four or five months ago. And I think it's a bit of a masterpiece. I can't believe I didn't know it. I'm ashamed to say. The theater nerd in me is ashamed to not have known it. Uh, but I love it. And when I said I was going to do it. So many people that I know and love and trust reached out to say it's their favorite show and they've been obsessed with it for their whole life. And, and then, of course, I heard that Andy Blank and Bueller would be directing and I thought, oh, well, this is going to be maybe really special because the score is so lush. It sort of screams like it needs to have a, a, a common denominator of dance and movement to support this beautiful, strange, Fellini-esque story. And... Uh, Andy's doing some really special stuff in this room, so we're, we're really excited. Andy, he just has these visions that, like he is able to physicalize with these incredible dancers what my character is thinking and feeling. So to me, that's like the most thrilling way to deliver a song to an audience, because you really feel like they're getting it musically, they're getting it lyrically, they're getting it from me as an actor, and then they're getting it from all these other bodies, all telling the same story. I play Lilian Lefleur, and she is from Paris, and she's the producer of his movie, or at least his would-be movie, if he ever writes it. But uh, she's constantly sort of putting the pressure on him and trying to get him to get his script together. And he's feeling pressure from all sides, and one of them is Lilian. Yeah. I mean, I'm so excited. I, as an Italian, have always loved this piece and have legitimately been singing Be Italian since I was about nine myself. <laughs> You've grown into the role. I've grown into the role. I've grown into the role. I'm very, very excited. It's the first time I've ever done the show, and I've wanted to do it forever. And to do it with Andy yeah. is just amazing. Well, I'm thrilled. I mean, it came up all at the last minute, and I trust Andy implicitly, and I've known him for such a long time that this cast is fantastic. It's so much fun. I'm going to play Claudia, and she is this beautiful, ethereal, kind of goddess-like star in Act 1. And then in Act 2, we get to see a little bit more of her humanity. Um, she asks the tough questions. She sings a beautiful song, Unusual Way. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's truly a dream role for me. And at the Kennedy Center, it's going to be epic. <laughs> 